Read this, the book review show, featuring book reviews, author interviews, and more. Welcome to Read This, the book review show. I'm one of your hosts, Patrick Morgan. And I'm your other host, Connor Kelly Eiding. First up, The Infidel by Elisabetta El Fienza is a novel to be reckoned with. Set against the brutal backdrop of the Crusades, this first volume of the epic Condottiero trilogy hurls the reader into a thrilling maelstrom of dogmatic mercenaries, fiendish nobles, righteous assassins, and awe-inspiring foreign landscapes. An unparalleled work of historical fiction, The Infidel begins the sweeping saga of Gion, a young man who has taken it upon himself to find his family's killers and to exact revenge. His journey pulls him unwittingly into the vile corruption and bloodshed of 12th century Europe and the Holy Lands, a time when honor seemed a fleeting thing. And Miss Fienza manages to paint this gripping world not only with poetic style and immediacy, but also with sharp historical accuracy and detail, birthing an opus of considerable weight and depth. And even beyond the vivid world that Fienza has crafted to perfection, Gian's story itself is beautifully human and complex, blending a nostalgic romanticism with the timeless struggles of love, honor, and a young man's rise to adulthood. All these elements combine to make The Infidel a truly stirring work, and a smash hit amongst readers on Amazon.com. Garnering five-star ratings all across the board, fans have called The Infidel a well-paced, richly detailed story of love, honor, and betrayal. They've said this debut novel is a mammoth achievement, a great read that left me longing for more. An absolutely fantastic read. You're gripped into this can't-put-down book. I predict a massive bestseller, so looking forward to the next one. So are we. The Infidel by Elisabetta El Fienza. Read this. And don't go away, we'll be right back with more reviews right after this. Do you like to go to the movies and watch the coming attractions? Do you decide what looks good and what you want to see? Then check out the world of video trailers where we do the same thing for books. Our trailers feature a script written to showcase your narrative, recorded by professional voiceover artists, and then produced by our video directors using music and state-of-the-art visuals and effects. Let us bring your book to life, literally, and show it to an audience that is million strong and growing. In fact, every day, over 100 million Americans watch online video and over 60% of book buyers shop and buy online. Video book trailers are becoming the way to reach this audience. Get in on this growing trend and treat your book like the Hollywood blockbuster it is. For more information, visit us at authormarketingideas.com or email jessica at jessica at authormarketingideas.com and get your trailer started. Canada is an often overlooked world superpower. Rich in resources, ethnic diversity, and cutting edge thinkers, the great white north may soon come to overshadow other nations on the world stage. And yet it is through the very fact that Canada itself has long been overshadowed that it was forced to develop these assets with tenacity and ingenuity. As author Donald Chivers argues, Canada's recognition in the world has been gained through invention, helpful suggestions, and compassion it has never had the power, incentive, or desire to attempt intimidation. A great deal of our growing strength is in the acceptance and mutual tolerance of many religions. However, tolerance is not weakness. Canada is no mouse, and we don't want a mouse to represent us on the world scene. Our prime minister must stand tall among other leaders. Such pride and confidence in his country, along with a nationalist call to, to action, perfectly sets the stage of Chivers' masterpiece, Random Thoughts of a Canadian Patriot. Are we the beneficiaries of racial memory? The complex socio-political discourse, however, is far from a congregation of random thoughts. The issues, explained with clarity and analyzed with both academic insight and personal immediacy, range from discussion on the stabilization of currency to the dire necessity of global cooperation in the handling of global warming. 
Chiver's deep, world-encompassing contemplations, however, are always rooted in the Canadian question. For the myopic American, he lays the foundation for a better understanding of Canadian history, culture, and politics, even coming to challenge the few policies other nations take for granted when considering Canada. The country's highly touted socialized healthcare program and its multi-party democracy are questioned and criticized by Chivers. His examinations are honest, intuitive, and a joy to read. For anyone with an interest in world affairs and from a uniquely Canadian perspective, this is a book for you. Random Thoughts of a Canadian Patriot. Are We the Beneficiaries of Racial Memory? By Don Chivers. Read this. And don't go away. We'll be right back with more reviews right after this. Welcome to Author Marketing Ideas. AMI was founded to empower authors to market their work to its fullest potential. We work with today's authors, the self-published, the digital, those ready to take the next step in promotion, ready to embrace innovation and reinvent the wheel. The tools are available. Enhanced author websites, digital and mobile ready, video book trailers, social media, press releases with embedded video, and we are available to teach and assist to create a customized marketing strategy because each author and every book is a unique creation. Market your work. Go local. Go global. Go viral. Ready? Then visit us at authormarketingideas.com and get a free digital footprint evaluation. Your digital footprint is what we call the size and shape of your online presence, and that's crucial to marketing success. We'll analyze and pinpoint your areas of strength and weakness and make recommendations. So check us out at authormarketingideas.com. Now, when one thinks of World War II, the associated horrors most often paint a collage of bloody battlefields, exploding mortars, and men fighting for their lives. But the tragedy of the war echoed just as deeply through the home front. Wives and children found themselves abandoned for long, bleak, uncertain years. Widow towns turned to matriarchy, spawning a generation who knew their fathers by dim memory only until they returned from the war as strangers. And this is the compelling backdrop of Uta Christensen's latest novel, Bed of Roses, Bed of Thorns. A lush, coming-of-age story, the work chronicles the life of Ursula Meister, a girl born behind the firing lines of war-torn Germany. Her stirring drama is of an existential nature, struck by the complex figure of her abandoned mother, and then, at the close of the war, by her father, the vague memory of a man returned from the brutalities of bloodshed in a Russian prison camp. Ursula must find her own path through life, in a world still wounded, struggling to realize her future while a distant past still haunts her and all of her people. Bed of Roses, Bed of Thorns is an emotive ghost of a piece, summoning up the shades of history while still tinging the darkness with a child's starlight. It questions the structure of identity through a natural yet romantic vein, bringing the reader into Ursula's realm of thought and feeling, as well as into the ravaged conditions of post-war Germany. And we're not alone in our total adoration of this monumental work. Uh, Taryn Dillon, author of Nectar of the Grateful Victim, has called Bed of Roses, Bed of Thorns a tour de force of well-observed, inspirational literature. While William Spear, author of Knights of the Saltier, has pronounced Author Uta Christensen, an excellent writer and storyteller, her characters strong and believable, and the setting she places in them in described so vividly. Surely not a novel to be missed. Bed of Roses, Bed of Thorns by Uta Christensen. Read this. Thank you very much for joining us today, and stay tuned. Another episode of Read This will be coming your way very shortly. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for our next show. And for information on how to have your book reviewed, email ellen at authormarketingideas.com.